hello and welcome to my second little film and today I thought that we were going to tie a fly called Sune and uh, this fly is named after my grandfather who was a coppersmith I named it after him because it's a lot of copper in this fly so that is a fly that me and my friends have had a lot of luck with especially in Riverium in south, south of Sweden so let's tie that one And here, as usual, extra small in bronze, extra medium in uh, bronze, and extra small in uh, gold. And tie them together pretty hard. That's better. And wind it back and save around five millimeters for the hook. And now I will take and put on the ribbing, which in this case is the CLI Silver SSS braid. And tie it in on my side. And then the body on this fly is the hot orange in flames SSS braid, which I think is a, a fiery colored copper. Which I, I'll, it's my favorite, favorite SSS braid. Hot orange in flames and uh, the nasty rusty I really like too. Because they fit nicely in most of the rivers I fish. And start to wind the body on. As tight as you can. Pull it, pull it sometimes so it gets nice and tight. And then we tie it in. And this part we're going to cover in dubbing. Just like the last time. Like that. And uh, this time I will use... Uh, uh, glitz, Nasty Rusty and uh, the regular dubbing in Nasty Rusty. So I will mix them. Take a bunch of regular dubbing and then I take a bit of the glitz stubbing and then I just mix them together like this until it is evenly mixed like that and then I take a little at a time it's easier to dub on if you don't take too much like this and just wind it on over the thread where I tied in the hot orange in flame braid so it covers that up and just keep on doing it and here I leave about four millimeters for the wings and <coughs> the hackles and stuff I create quite a bunch because I'm gonna brush that out so it gets nice and translucent like this and then I put on the ribbing the 
sealized silver. Four turns. And pull it down hard into the, the dubbing. And then lock it in and fold it back. It would never come loose. And then we brush out the dubbing. Like that. Make sure it doesn't get tangled in the hook. So we cut it off just before the hook. Like that, and now I have to get a uh, ring neck pheasant rump feather. one just pick one out that has most of the fibers left this one will do this is to create some motion alongside the body of the fly in the water so I create a little triangle on this one cut it like that and I tie it in on my side and a little hackle plier and then I wind it forward hold back the fibers as close to the dubbing as possible like that and three turns is enough so I pull off the excess and then lock it in like that two three four five and these strands will move alongside the fly and the dubbing helps to hold it out a bit I think it looks good but I don't know if it makes any different what's difference whatsoever and then we're gonna start with a fiery brown wing on this fly these are a bit long but I will use this anyways because it's what I have out Pull out a few of the stiffer strands and take a little comb and take away the most of the fluff like that and again the short strands and then put it bef between my index finger and my thumb and then I just take away those strands I don't want and then I pull in the middle and pull fewer and fewer strands to get a nice taper and I want it to look like this and then pinch it between my thumb and index finger so it becomes like a V and then put it on top and tie it in wide loose turn Pull down, one, two, three, four, five. And these on these five turns I use as much, much pressure that I dare to use before the thread breaks. And I pull it down on the sides a little bit, like that. And then we're gonna have some uh, angel hair in, in Nasty Rusty. 
There's gold and green and lots of copper in this one, so it fits this fly perfectly. Cut this away first. <clears throat> like that. Now we can take just a few strands of nasty rusty angel hair, put it on wide so it spreads all over the wing, fold it over, tie it in. and cut it off in different length like that and as I said before I leave uh, some strands out here to be seen from underneath on top of the other wing and now we're going to put in the wing number two and here I have some some kind of soft hair I don't know what it is but it's not it's uh, synthetic and really soft moves well and it is uh, light gray sometimes I tie this fly with a dirty gray wing on top but this one I can use in the sun and I can use it when the weather is weather is bad or good in my opinion so when it's a little rain in the air and heavy clouds like that cut away the waste there we go and now we're going to use more angel hair and this time it's angel hair HD which is the thicker ones from Fredin Flies and now I'm just going to pick out a few of the copper ones to make it a little flashy on the top Like that, and tie these on wide too. Fold them back. Like this. Looks good. And then cut them off in different length. A little bit shorter than longest strands of the soft wing like this just comb it through to see if the wings are yeah, it looks good and now we take some jungle cock tie in on the sides before we put on the hackle it's gonna be two hackles on this fly it's gonna be one uh, black soft hackle and there will be one uh, grizzly orange hot orange grizzly hackle and I do like Michael Fredin I put my nail behind here to get a little curve like this and I put the first one in on my side like that and then we do the same with the other feather and I put that on the other side so it follows the wing like this flash in the way <clears throat> yeah that's look looks pretty good 
then I cut those away, the waste, if I can get a hold of them soon. There we go. And the other one. And now I put on a little bit of glue on this part to make it more durable. Like this. And now we will take, I'm going to take away this strand of flash because it was not sitting right. And now I will take a soft tackle, black, like this one with a little bit of the fluff at the end. This fly is tied for sea trout fishing. So I tie this a little bigger and fluffier than I do with my salmon soon. And just wind on the hackle as close to the wing as possible. And then wind it a bit forward. Like this, and take away those strands you don't need, and then lock it in. There we go. And cut off the stem if I can see it. Use the comb to see if they're evenly spread. And it looks quite good. So everything is up to this feather. So a hot orange grizzly, soft tackle. Tie it in on my side. Like this, and then the hackle plier again. And just wind it on. Pull back the fibers to get all the fibers on one side of the stem when you tie it forward. <coughs> So this is also quite fluffy, fluffy fly, a lot of meat for the fish. Two, three, four, five. And then I cut it off, comb it through to see if it's even around the fly and it looks good. Very big and fluffy fly and now I need a tungsten turbo cone head this one I will use the extra small one in copper of course oh let's go yeah, got it. And use a little bit of glue. I will use the glue on the thread because then I can put it exactly where I want it. Hold back the fibers from the hackle and wind it on. Try to wind it as slim as possible and then we <clears throat> press down the cone cut off the tying thread take the fly out 
look so it's evenly spread no flash strands too long it's quite wide this wing as well it's not fantastic but it will swim very good in the water and I hope it will trick a few fish into taking it cut it off a few millimeters away and then melt it down <sighs> like that and then as always I take my fits dubbing needle so I know that I get a good hole in it <sighs> like that oh, it's okay and we are done this one will swim I will try this one on the salmon in in river Orkla in about uh, 10 days so here it is uh, Sune named after my grandfather so hot orange in flames body and nasty rusty regular dubbing mixed with glitz dubbing and a fiery brown wing and a nasty rusty angel hair on top and only the copper strands on top of the copper and then a black hackle and then finally a grisly orange hackle to end it and uh, of course the copper uh, turbocone uh, in tungsten that will help with the balance of the hook so yeah here it is thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye bye